Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Smashbrush. This is actually a pretty highly requested video. I'm gonna be showing you guys what my skincare regimen looks like, what I do on a daily, at least for the most part, and the products that I use. Now, by no means am I like an esthetician or do I know like every single ingredient in these products, but I can tell you that my skin is definitely more on the sensitive side and I do keep something pretty steadily from day to day. And especially because I do wear a lot of makeup I want to make sure that my canvas is clean and you know just ready to go skincare plays a huge part when it comes to like makeup it's really hard to be able to have such a nice smooth canvas if your skin hasn't really been taken care of I'm gonna go over what I do to remove my makeup what I use for my skincare and yeah so if this is a video that you're interested in then just keep watching and without further ado let's get to it So you have an idea like how comfortable it is to like be recording in my robe and like my pajamas like this is really nice <laughs> so a first thing that I like to do obviously have my hair up or just away from my face I actually like to use a headband just because I personally hate it like especially when my hair is like nice and fresh and done I hate it when my edges get wet because then I feel like it just messes up the hair and then the next day kind of like makes my hair look more oily and I just just hate that whole feeling so this is the first thing that I'm gonna make sure I have on and just to let you guys know I found this in TJ Maxx for like I think like two or three dollars or something like that I know it definitely wasn't anything crazy yeah so this is how it looks like here's my potato face <laughs> first thing that I like to do is make sure that my contacts are off because like rubbing around and things like that can really irritate my eyes and I like to make sure that my eyelashes are off I do get a lot of questions as to how do you properly remove eyelashes I personally do not properly remove my eyelashes because honestly this is all I do to my eyelashes. Meanwhile, someone else might look at it and be like, oh my gosh. Best way if you really want to make sure that your eyelashes doesn't get pulled or anything is grab like a cotton swab, put it in makeup remover or something like more oil based and put it towards like the very corner and then just put it a little bit around the edges of the eyelash and it'll literally do the same thing to each their own. I'm not encouraging you that this is the way to do it, but this is just my personal preference. Now that I am looking bare, you guys are gonna see me transform from 100 to zero real quick. <laughs> so the next thing that I do is um, I go ahead and grab a wipe. By the way, I will let you know that I do use a lot of products. My skincare might be a little bit obnoxious, but I know what I like and uh, obviously you don't have to use all of these things that I'm using here today. This is just like my perfect case scenario. So I like to grab a Neutrogena wipe and on top of that, I like to use my Lancome makeup remover. Now this is oil based and I love this because I like to use a lot of like gel liners or waterproof things. I like to add a little bit on the wipe, nothing like too crazy um, because this is already has like makeup removing ingredients in them. I just like something that's like a little bit extra powered. Yeah, this just helps me remove everything. And at this point, I'm just like, I'm just gently rubbing off everything. Especially like in the eye area, I always recommend people like don't really pull off because the more you stretch, the quicker you're bound to like get wrinkles and things like that. So don't stretch guys. <laughs> Okay, so once makeup is all removed, I look extremely barefaced, just like this. What I like to do after this is really just rinse my face out and just make sure I'm all nice and rinsed out. 
So once I rinse my face, I like to go in with my Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. Now this is one of the products that I received in a birthday gift form this year. And I honestly love the way it left my skin looking and feeling. It was just so, so awesome. Um, I'm just gonna put it directly on my face. And it's this really clear looking um, cleanser. And then I like to use my Clarisonic cleanser. I am using the brush head that's for like acne. I wanna say it's a little bit more rough. I used to use one that was like for sensitive skin, but sometimes I feel like it wasn't doing enough, but that's just, that could just be something mental. So I'm like, I wanna get the acne cleansing one this time. So I'm gonna make sure that's a little bit wet. So this basically works for 60 seconds and I just got some like soap in my eye. So I like to do 10 seconds in my forehead. Ah. <laughs> um, 20 seconds on one cheek, 20 on the other, 5 seconds here and 5 seconds around this area. After that, it turns off. And that basically is it. I can't open up my eyes because I know some fell on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this off. So now that I'm all rinsed off, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my towel and just pat dry. Um, I don't like to like rub or anything, just really nice and pat it down. Skin is already feeling so good and like refreshed. Honestly, when I'm doing this, I'll have Netflix, Disney Plus now, <laughs> um, YouTube, like I'll have some show playing so I'm like kind of distracted and I have like my own me time so it's like kind of nice. I actually really like doing my skincare routine. Now that my makeup is completely off, face is cleaned, I'm gonna go on to my face moisturizer. So I've been like really loving these two different moisturizers. I like to use again the Drunk Elephant, this one's called the Proteiny Polypeptide cream or the it confidence in a cream these both are really really nice I think for today's sake what do I want to do I'm gonna be using my drunk elephant one I've actually really really been loving it so actually I kind of like to mix this with an oil I like to use this one it's called Maki NSI prickly pear Golgi super berry hydrate and glow oil this is just one of those products that was recommended to me um, because I do have dry skin and now that like the winter's kicking in I get to use this again so as you can see I'm kind of almost done so what I do is I'll grab a pump of it and then I'll actually place it right on top of my moisturizer and then this is one of those things where I go like this and then I mix in both and then voila like this is this is my new moisturizer now <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it and the one thing about like moisturizer is that I really like to take my time to like massage it into my face because I really wanted to get in there. I'm skipping out on a serum today just because I am using an oil. Once my face is all moisturized, I'm going to be looking like glowy, a little bit oily, but that's okay because literally tomorrow when I wake up, like I am not oily at all. If anything, like my skin's like, I need something on my skin like right now. Next thing that we're going to do is move on to the eyes. I've been really loving this um, product by Lancome. It is the Advanced Genifique. I don't know how to say that other word, but it's a light pearl. It's kind of like an eye serum. And they say it's like a lash booster too. I don't know about all that, but I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. And what I love about it is like when you take it out, it has like this really cold um, applicator thing. And it's not even that I put it in the fridge or anything. It's just like cold automatically. So what I like is that it claims to like really deep puff, hydrate, and like really help with dark circles. Of course, I know like every eye cream kind of claims to do that. But I do feel like it, my eyes have been feeling like brighter. I love that feeling like it's just so freaking nice and cold. And I even like to apply up here. I know not everybody, at least I don't think everybody does that, but I definitely like to. Now I'm just going to go ahead and 
again just lightly apply so this is considered a serum I think some people still use it as eye creams and just kind of like let it go I do like to pair it up with another eye cream this one's pretty inexpensive this is actually a Sephora brightening eye cream and I just like grab a really really light amount and then just layer this right on top I really don't think this is a step that you have to do again this is just my personal preference and I feel like it's been doing a difference and then after this this is again a total optional step the next thing that I'm using it's this uh, golden um, eye mask these are like super super cheap I found them in TJ Maxx as well and I'm pretty sure you can find them somewhere online I like to make sure that whatever I just applied really gets into my eye so I like to put these in there and it just like helps hydrate it helps I don't know like it helps depuff it just it definitely makes a difference with my eyes and I can tell especially when I start wearing concealer the next day like my bottom eyes are just like so nice and hydrated so I like to keep these in for like about like 10 minutes or so 10 15 minutes then the last step that I need to do is just put on something on my lips I have been loving breathing dying for this product and I use it on all my clients this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask guys if you feel like your lips are like cracking or just like nothing helps I think this is the solution I don't necessarily have like extremely dry lips but I have recommended it to people who have I even use it like on brow um, right before like applying lipstick and things like that and they leave it on for like a couple minutes and then they're like oh my gosh like what is this so I'm just gonna apply this right on my lip and that is basically it guys I know I look like really scary and like typical with my head and all I need is like a mud mask and I'm looking like a whole creepy person but I'm telling you like all of these like steps that I've done really do make a difference so let me just put my hair down put these away all right guys and this basically concludes my skincare uh, routine video makeup removing video whatever you want to call it i'm gonna make sure i leave everything down in the description below if there's any of these products that you use um, and you love let me know or if there's anything that you like swear by when it comes to skincare also let me know because i'm always like on a search for like something good something refreshing something that's like worth it yeah that is basically it guys thank you so so much for watching if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, also turn on your notification bell and also don't forget to follow me on instagram it is at smashbrush underscore at the very end and i will see you in my next video bye